So far in this course, we've covered a lot of material and we're ready to move on to version two to get into a bit more of a interesting, I think, layout. And to be able to accomplish this, we're gonna have to learn a lot more about CSS uh, to be able to do the things we're gonna be doing. And so the first thing I want you to do is uh, to go into your files and we're gonna be going into the version two of those the folder. And we have extra images that we need now. So I'm gonna need to bring those images into my project. So nice and easy, I can just once again, open up this find my images folder. We already have some in there. Uh, we could just replace all of them and it's gonna notice that the, the names of some of them are the same. So that's probably the easier way to do it is just grab all of those images and bring them in. You get a little warning saying, this action is irreversible if you replace them, the exact same image. So it's completely fine. Uh, or if you just wanna skip that uh, step, you could just bring in the new ones that, it, that are in there because we, you know, it's kind of obvious which ones are the new ones. Uh, and the other thing is I want to look quickly at the design with you right now because we're going to see that there's uh, a few things that are going to be staying the same and we're going to be building on top of what we've already done. We're going to have to make some changes to the existing code that we've created so far uh, and then we're going to have to add in some new things as well. So the homepage design looks a little bit like this which is opening off screen for me so I'm just going to drag it on in and this is what we're going to be building as we go through part two so you can see we have like oh different colored text within the same element how do we do that uh, we're going to look at styling links and changing the color there adding backgrounds we did it with our footer down here but how do we change something like this that's different and you know maybe it's a section but if it is a section then how do we make it different from the other ones and there's a few different things coming up and of course we have columns we have an image here with text next to it how can we accomplish something like that so there's a lot of uh, interesting things we're going to do we're going to have an actual navigation at the top of our page as well to go between the two of them the way someone would expect to instead of a random link in the middle of a paragraph and also while it's not included in these designs we're going to make this responsive meaning as this gets a lot smaller, right now actually our site is responsive, uh, but we're gonna look at how as it's getting smaller and smaller, if we have two columns, at one point they're gonna be too narrow. So then what do we do in those situations and how can we make sure the layout works no matter what's going on uh, with what we have? How can we have an image as a background? A whole bunch of new topics to be exploring as we go into version two here and we dive deeper into the wonderful world that is CSS.